Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm Cut Engine Team Shadow Strike, and this is going to be another deck profile for you guys. And this is going to be a revisit of my Alto Mile Stride deck post set four. I have all the support now that I needed for it. Um, shout out to my teammate Sam, who was able to, uh, out of the boxes he got, to get me the only few cards I needed to update this to the where I wanted it. So um, let's just get straight into this deck profile, guys. So. For the starting Vanguard, I play Shining Knight Milius. Um, this is not the Jewel Knight version. It does not play any Jewel Knights in it. It is strictly an Ultimile build. And in playtesting, guys, this deck is extremely good because the amount of power and number of attacks that you can push so early is very devastating. And people, um, I think, now are going to realize just how consistent this deck is. I'm not saying... It's better than the Jewel Knight version, but it definitely at least deserves respect. Um, so the, so um, for his skill, um, Forerunner slides out when a Grade 1 rides him. Counter Blast 1, shove him in the soul. You may search your deck for any Grade 2 or less unit. I mean, any Grade 2 unit and Sphere call it to the field. Next, we play four copies of... Bright Bringer of Dreams Balonius. This is the Ultimile trigger. Whenever uh, Ultimile attacks, you may put him in the soul. Ultimile gains 5,000 power and can draw one free card. Then we play four copies of Burning Main Lion and four copies of Knight of Flash. So this is a 12 crit deck. It is, um, in playtesting, very consistent because with all these crits in the deck and all the attacks that you can throw at your opponent, it eventually they're going to have to take a shot that has a critical pin to it, and in the late stage or early stage of the game, that can be devastating in many ways. It can lead to you having to overguard so you don't take so much damage, which can lead you to having not much of a hand and then losing quicker than you intended, or it could also lead to just um, basically depleting all your resources. And then obviously we play four heal triggers, and I decided to go classic Elaine, because I just don't like the Pegasus. I, I've always loved Elaine, so any Royal Paladin deck that play that I play, if it's not a certain archetype like Seekers, I play Elaine. <clears throat> Next, we play four copies of Holy Knight Guardian for our Perfect Guards, G Perfects. This deck does counterblast quite a bit, so we want to be able to unflip when we can. Next, we play four copies of Knight of Sicilis. This is our Ultimile Searcher and our Stride Enabler to help us stride. Um, you, you really want Ultimile first as your Vanguard, even though... Um, Sing Saber is a finisher. You really just still want Ultimile because in playtesting, guys, so far, Sing Saber is nice, and I love Sing Saber to pieces, and he'll always be paired with Ultimile in this deck because that's what I like. But I haven't had to use Sing Saber in this build yet because Ultimile and all my strides and all the power that this deck generates has been enough to cause my opponents to lose. So, now granted, I've only playtested this deck maybe like five or six games, but I didn't go into Sing Saber in any of them. So. Then for the rest of the grade ones, we play three copies of Knight of Reform Peer. This card is extremely good um, and severely underrated um, because he can juice up an entire column so big, so quick. Um, his skill is Generation Break 1. When your other grade 2 unit is placed on rear guard, if you have a grade 3 or greater vanguard with Ultimile in its card name, choose up to 2 units in the same column as this unit and they get plus 2,000 power. So you can you can really bump him up and the unit that he shares a column with big quick. For the last grade 2, I play 2 copies of Battle Song Angel. Now, this card sees a lot of play in Sanctuary Guard decks for very good reason. Um... But I like it in this build because Tech Gall is a thing. So it is very easy to get her effect off. Because if we have one Tech Gall in the back as a booster, then she immediately becomes a 9k booster. And that normally is the case. So it's an easy 9k boost. And she has resist. So, I mean, that's just a bonus. But it's there. Next, grade 2s. 
I cut one grade one to put in an extra grade two since this deck is so grade two heavy. We play four copies of Knight of Fragment. This is still such a very crucial card to the deck in my opinion. Um, and now since Tech Gall's a thing, he is much easier to be always an 11k, even though in my opinion he wasn't that hard to begin with. But some people thought he was, but now since Tech Gall's a card, this guy should always be at 11, period. So anyway, Generation Break 1, when you have two or more grade 2 units on the field, when he swings, he gets plus 2,000 power. And the skill of, if his attack successfully hits a Vanguard, you may Soul Charge 1 and unflip a damage. So, it's there. Um, I like it, and uh, you can do some fun stuff with your Knight of Fragments. Next, we play two Knight of Twin Sword for superior calling outlets. Um, whenever this unit attacks a Vanguard, um, Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1, and superior call a Grade 2 from the deck that is not named Knight of Twin Sword. Next, we play two copies of Knight of Refinement Benizel. Um... Benizel's skill is whenever this unit is placed on the rear guard, you may counter blast one, soul blast one, and superior call one grade two unit that is not Benizel. And then that unit and Benizel gain 2,000 power for the turn. So they both um, will power up a little bit, which is nice. Then we play three copies of my new favorite doggy, Tech Gall. This card is so good, it gives it gave Royal Paladins some something they desperately needed. Um and this build specifically, it only makes better. Tech all skill, Generation Break 1. Um, Soul Blast 1 and rest this unit. When your other unit in the same column as this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, increase that unit's power by this unit's power until the end of battle. So, essentially, Tech Gall for a Soul Blast of 1, he boosts. So, that is um, really, really cool. Um, so... You can even use him to kick off Knight of Twin Sword skill. So, really, really cool. And then for the last grade two, I play one copy of Blaster Blade Seeker. That's right, I only play one copy of Blaster Blade Seeker. And it's because it's real easy if I have to ride this to Soul Blast this out, because I do have Soul Blasting cards in forms of Benny Zell and Tech Gall. So, if for some reason I do have to ride this, he is there. If it does wind up in the damage zone, it is a bummer, but. Like I said, Sing Saber hasn't come out yet, so this hasn't been a problem. But if it ever did become a problem, I would probably cut either a Tech Gall or another Knight of Fragment to put in a second one. But as of right now, this build, the way it is, is working just fine. Then, whoop, Grade 3s. We play four copies of Blue Sky Knight Alto Mile. So this is... Um, the main unit of the deck. Um, Generation Break 2, um, during your turn, all your units in the front row gain 5k. So if you just find yourself unable to stride, you can at least have a very, very strong front line um, and cause some major, uh, some big attacks, which is nice. You know, having, um, you know, big columns, especially in late game, can uh, really uh, help you out. And then his stride skill is Counter Blast 1. Whenever a unit is uh, whenever you stride onto this unit, you may counter blast one. Superior call two units for, up to two units from your hand, and then select two rear guards on the field, and those units gain five thousand power. They do not have to be the same two as you call, and you don't have to call two. You can only call one, so it's up to you. You don't even have to call any at all, but it's there in case you want to call and power those units up. And then for the last grade three, we play four copies of Seeker Sing Saber Dragon. And one thing I'm so happy for is I finally is able to finish my play set of Legion Rares. Um, so, so happy about that. But Sing Saber skill, I'm not going to explain Sing Saber, guys. I've, I've explained him at least three or four times, if not more. And I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, um, you know what Sing Saber does. And if not, it's pretty simple. Being a restanding vanguard is something that is very deadly to deal with, so my theology is that if <clears throat> Altamile and my Swarm doesn't kill you, um, I can go into Sing Saber and it's, he's really going to cause you some problems. So Sing Saber is still in here because he's still the, the best backup choice to have, in my opinion. So, that's the main deck. For the Strides... We play one copy of Shrouded Divine Knight Galblade. This is our first stride every single time. And there was, um, out of those six games, three or four of them, 
I never had to stride more than once because Galblade, um, with all the attacks that you can throw at your opponent now with Knight of Twin Swords and ability to just basically reset columns, Galblade becomes much more likely to hit. And if they do let him hit, then just more attacks are going to happen. Basically, if Galblade's attack hits a Vanguard, you may uh, select a Grade 2 or Greater card from your deck and call it to a rear guard. So, Next, we play one copy of Divine Knight of Flashing Flame Samuel. Now, a lot of people have cut this card for another Galblade, um, I've been hearing, because they want to be able to Superior Call more, but this deck screams superior calling so i really don't see the point of playing another one i don't use him a lot but i have used him before and it has always every time i have used him i always win so he's here as a as just as an option um and plus this is literally the only samuel i have when samuel came out in set two um senegal and blossom that's all i wanted i wanted one samuel that's it <laughs> um but uh He's here. And then for the new stride, we play two copies of Aerial Divine Knight Alto Mile. Now this card, honestly, um, some people say he sucks, and he's he's not overpowering good, but he is good, in my opinion, as a two of. And uh, basically his ability is, <clears throat> uh, when this unit is placed on the Vanguard, you may select a face-down Aerial Divine Knight Alto Mile from your G-Zone and Generation Blast. If you do, until the end of turn, this unit gets the ability of Continuous Effect. All of the units in your front row gain 3,000 power. So that means himself becomes 29, and the other two units in your front row gain 3k. Then, if the number of card face-up cards in your G-Zone is two or more, search your deck for up to one grade two or card, call it to rear guard, shuffle your deck, and that unit that you superior called gains 5,000 power. So... <coughs> You can push a lot of power the turn you ride him because not only will your front row gain power, but the unit you call gains power, and you can combo it with Ultimile Stride skills, so you can push a lot of power. And then for the last, we're still playing our four um, Holy Dragon, Saint Blow Dragon, just because he is one of the most broke G units in the game. To simply just go Stride, flip up, gain 3,000 for every Royal Paladin Rear Guard, and... Um, gain one crit if there's two or more face-up in the G-Zone. So, which generally, you're always going to stride into Galblade first. You then can go to Saint Blow, you can go to Ultimile, and then go back to Saint Blow, or you can go Saint Blow, Ultimile, Samuel. I mean, I mean that that I just wanted to give myself all the options in the world, but because generally what I'm going to do is go Galblade, then, depending on the situation, I might go for the finish with Saint Blow, or I might go with Ultimile and try and finish you that way. That's why um, I love this deck. There's so many options, um, and it's very consistent. So. Anyway, that is my Alto Mile Sing Saver deck. So, anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I, I really enjoy this deck. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, I'm really glad that Ultimile finally got his support with Tech Gall and, um, I, I, uh, Pierre's, or Peel, or whatever he's called, the grade one. I'm, I'm just really glad, because I really do like Ultimile. I like how he looks. Um, he, he looks how a Royal Paladin unit should look. Um, so I'm really excited for, um, to finally have this finished in the playtesting I've been doing with it. It's a lot of fun to play, and I really enjoy it. I realize it may not be as popular as the Sanctuary Guard decks that are running around right now, but this is, uh, I actually prefer this better. I'm not saying that it is better, I just like it better. It's just my preference. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. So please, in the comment section below, tell me your thoughts on the deck. Give me suggestions if you have any. I always love to hear your opinion. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video for me, and I'll see you next time.